Hi guys, so today we're having a look at the Revolution Fast Base Concealer and rather than just having a look at this, we're having a face off against the Conceal and Define Concealer. Now the Fast Base comes in 14 shades, it's £5, you get 4.5 mils, yep, and it's cruelty free and vegan and it's got one of those little kind of puff applicators and it's a twisty pen design. So the original, the Conceal and Define, um, is £4 for 3.4 mils, so less product but cheaper. Just has the doe foot applicator and it's got a slightly more extensive shade range. So I've done my makeup today, I've used one for each side. So we'll see kind of how they've applied, how the coverage looks for each of them. Because the Fast Base describes itself as a lightweight, buildable coverage to conceal dark circles and imperfections where the Conceal and Define just says full coverage, conceal and contour. Not with this shade, you're not contouring. Uh, but anyway, let's see how I got on with the application and we'll do a wear test. Okay, so I've got a lighter layer of foundation on today. I'm just using my usual pre-mark. Um, so we've got the Revolution Fast Base Concealer and the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. So we're going to do one side with each just to see if there's a huge amount of difference. Both of them I have in shade C1. Let's start with the Fast Base because I know I'll be twisting this for a while. So how are you guys? Well, oh, that was not going to be twisted as long as I thought it was. So that's quite a bit of product has came firing out while I was being sarky and not paying attention. So I'm not going to go for any under eye corrector today. I'm just going to let these kind of stand on their own. So I will dab that in. Um, it can get this side of my face entirely. Let's go shape up around my brows as well. Now I don't think I want to try and blend in with this. Um, just not personal preference. I don't think it's great to blend with a effectively a dirty applicator. It's got loads of product on it. I don't think it'll blend out well. And also hygiene wise, I kind of like to just kind of like apply with like wands and doe foot applicators and then blend with brushes that I know I clean regularly. So that's blending in super nice and my eye area looks significantly brighter than the non-concealed side. So... A little bit more help on my nose. Why am I having a patch on my nose that nothing wants to stick to today? Weird. Okay. Right, so then on my left side we're going to use the, you know, the traditional um, concealer with the gigantic doe foot. Um, so again, I'm just going to kind of dab, dab, dab. I go around my eyebrows as well, hadn't I? Since I've done it on the other side. Do. So unlike with the um, Barry Emma situation, the ones with the same shade name seem to be the same shade, which is, you know, helpful. Um, I haven't tried the foundation yet, it's not appeared in a shop near me and I'm going to be completely honest with you guys like I usually am, like I usually am, like I always am, um, I'm broke. I'm really really skint just now so I don't want to put in an online order. Um, I had some, just some hiccups but anyway, I'm good, I'm fine, it'll be sorted but I'm trying to keep my purchasing to a minimum, which if I go and do an online order for Revolution will not happen. So, I 
I think the under eyes look fairly uh, even, um, kind of cover wise, maybe slightly better on this side. Um, but we'll see how these wear throughout the day. I'm just going to set my foundation and do everything else. But it is 20 past 11 just now, so I will see you as I go about my day. Right, just in case anybody wanted a timestamp from like the full makeup look, it's 11.34, we're all set, so let's go. Right, so I haven't done any check-ins because to be honest, there was nothing really to show. So the time now is half 11, so I've had this concealer on for over 12 hours. So let's zoom in and have a look at our results. So bizarrely for Glasgow in September, I had to put sunglasses on today, so excuse the glasses marks. Under eye, I would say we're looking a little bit darker on this side. Um, I'm not sure if any of that is due to eyeshadow fallout. It doesn't actually appear so because my finger is clean. Um, so, okay. And then side of the nose. Uh, let me see. Honestly, I don't think there's a whole lot in it, but for me, this guy seems to be working a bit better. Now, this one is labelled as the full coverage one, so, you know, maybe it's obvious that it's going to be better at the end of the day. Um, but personally, if you're in the shop and you're looking at the two of these, go for this guy. There's... The difference in price I would say is negligible, the difference in coverage is not negligible. So for me, this is a winner. Nothing particularly wrong with this one, I just don't see why you would pick this one when this is going to be beside it on the same shelf. So if you've got any questions about either of these, leave them down below and I will get back to you. But for now, I'm going to go and quickly finish the end of another video and go to bed because I'm tired. Bye guys.